Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 19980 Northeast Ribbon Ridge Road here in Newburgh. We're located at the back of the house here, right by the little satellite dish. We have a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Just one second here. I know that first bit of the picture there was kind of black when we went into there. I think I've got a kink in my camera. Anyway, it should uh, give me that picture on the way back out, though. We've got two or three clean outs, and once we get to the clean out, we're going to just keep on moving. We're going to stop here. We're going to move up to this clean out here, 133 feet out. Yeah, we're going to start reeling the camera back here. I do have the water turned off. By the time we get back up to the top of the hill here, there's one spot I want to take a look at where it looks like we had standing water. About a 10, 12 foot section of the pipe towards the beginning. Here at, the, at 28 feet, this is where a belly dissipates. We're going to do markings here. Just pulling back into it, we've got at least an inch of water in the line there. All right, we're at one foot eight inches deep here. About 25, 30 feet out from the back of the house. And I've got that marked with a white X.
And yeah, this is one that I would highly recommend getting fixed. The, t the pipe here is completely full of water. You've got three inches of water in that belly there. One you really, really want to get fixed. This is not like a belly with a half inch of water in it. This is one that I can promise you will probably cause a backup at some point if you don't deal with it. All right, that's all marked with a white X at each end of the uh, repair site. Again, it's got three inches of water in it. It's not one you want to try and live with. You want to get that fixed. And only being a foot and a half deep, very easy line to get fixed there. What we're going to do here is I'm going to switch cameras real quick. My, my long camera here has a kink in it. We can just scope that first 10 feet there that my camera wants to black out for. Alright. Put the camera back in here, and again, we're just trying to scope out this first 10 feet here. It, it looks like something drove over the top of the pipe here almost. It's, you can see how that is oval shaped, that pipe there. It's not affecting functionality. might have a compromised joint there. That's one that is not totally necessary to get fixed. All right, we're back out to where the camera blacked out there. And that's running water we have inside. Looks like the dishwasher's emptying. Anyway, I'm, I'm guessing someone may have drove over the top of this with something heavy. But you can see there that joint Still appears to be glued shut. It hasn't broken, which is amazing. But for that reason, I'm not recommending a repair on it. It's a little oval shape there, but it's still doing its job. All right, we're down at the secondary clean out here. This is where we stopped first time around. Again, because I this line's so long, I've got to use my long camera that's got a kink in it. So it's going to black out here for the first couple or 10 feet or so. And then the picture will come back. We'll make sure we scope that with the other camera. Currently, we have the water turned off. This is because it's it's downhill enough that it's not too hard to push through. But then I had to I had to wait for two, three hundred feet of pipe to drain out every time before reeling back. So we're going to do this one dry. And this little bit of standing water right here, it looks like it's probably due to just that toilet paper sitting in the line. That's the reason why you don't want to ball up toilet paper right there. You want to fold it because it just turns into a big giant, call them tumbleweeds. They just sit in the middle of the flow line and dam things up.
All right, unfortunately, this clean out here is buried so deep under hard ground, I need a pickaxe in probably 45 minutes to find it. So we're going to try and I turned water on inside the house. We're just going to keep on shoving here. And we should be able to get just shy of the tank as long as the uh, camera will go all the way out. All right, this is the extent of the camera here. I'm going to go locate, see how close we are to the tank. All right, we are actually only about two and a half to three feet from the tank connection here. So, made it pretty much all the way there. Had we had a, another clean out to use, we would have been able to. But anyway, three feet short is pretty darn good for a line this long. And we're going to keep the water running here. I've scoped all this basically dry at this point. Everything from this clean out out is draining well. There's a couple spots with some really minor standing water. Uh, nothing concerning though. Now my one and only recommendation for the line we scoped here was up by the house. I believe it's from 21 feet to 28 feet. We have a three, three inches of standing water in the line due to a belly. All right, reeling the camera out here. Aside from the belly, up by the house there, the rest of the line is looking good, has proper. 
flow and is functioning properly at this time. Once that belly is taken care of, you have a nicely functioning sewer line. And I highly recommend having a rescope performed to make sure that it didn't belly back out again or anything like that. Uh, at, at that depth, only a foot and a half deep, you really want to avoid driving anything heavy over the top of that. That's very shallow and would be quite easy to compress.